why penetration gap in health insurance? First of all, thank you Nilima and thank you Argus uh, channel for inviting me because this is such an important topic to be discussed that health is one of the necessities. As somebody was telling in the morning, ki aragya mera right hai, it is a birthright that I have to be healthy. So the channel, Argus channel really have taken a very momentous decision to organize this and this topic is so relevant in today's world because by 2047 along with Vikshit Bharat, our Prime Minister has said that we should have and IRDA along with that, IRDA is an insurance regulatory body, they have said insurance for all. That is we should have a 100% penetration of insurance by 2047. Now today we stand at 2024, so we'll be surprised to know that India now has only 4% penetration is insurance. And especially in the rural areas, there is hardly any healthcare facility and the insurance that is available. So coming to Nilima, your question, ki why there is a gap in the rural healthcare system. So the reasons if we see that is very similar to what we have in the urban system. First of all, the doctor's availability. Next comes whether the proper diagnostic centers are there. The doctor comes, he prescribes certain uh, uh, diagnostics and then the medicines. So the availability of the proper diagnostic center and lastly the availability of the essential medicines. Now all these three, if you see together, how it culminates that the patient doesn't get the right treatment in the right time. This is the main thing that is happening. In the urban areas, in the cities, in the metro cities and in the tier one cities, there are hospitals. But in rural, because of all these three factors, the patient is not getting the right treatment in the right time. So if you further analyze down, ki what are the basic reasons for which all these are happening? Number one is that there is no proper infrastructure. That is the primary healthcare centers are there. Most, most of the centers, there are doctors but not proper trained people, the trained nurses and the trained support staff is not there. The essential medicines that is required that is not there. Proper infrastructure is not there means that there is no proper ambulance also to take the patient to the next nearest city. And also many a times it happens that there are diagnostic center but equipment hai but equipment chalta nahi hai. So these are the main things that are to be addressed. And again if you drill down ki why this is happening, that is because there is no sufficient fund insufficiency of the regular fund that is causing all these things. And another important statistics that I would like to all of you know that how much that government give towards the medical cost. Government gives 21% of the total GDPI towards the medical cost. And how much is the percentage that the patient, be it rural, be it urban, how much they have to spend, how much they have to spend for out-of-pocket hospitalization, when they don't have insurance or when it is beyond the cover that he has, it is, for India, it is close to 50. And if you see Orissa, it is close, the highest is in UP 71%. Here it is around 60%. So there is an utmost need to see that how there can be other situations which will help, like insurance, which will help to sustain the economic growth because of this high cost of hospitalization and out-of-pocket expenses. It, the statistic shows that last year almost 6 crore people have moved towards the poverty line, below poverty line, because they had to spend behind this health care. Jodi Aponoko Amo Bidjoti Bhalagila, the Bama channel could like, share or subscribe Karipaku Jama Bibulunturai.